Prior to imprisonment, Bard Edgen Darvies served as a member of the Harpers, an order of peacekeepers, until disciples of a red wizard he had arrested killed his wife. Accompanied by barbarian Holga Kilgore, Edgen attempted to make a new life for himself and his daughter Kira by turning to theft, teaming with amateur sorcerer Simon Awar, rogue forge Fitzwilliam, and forge's mysterious acquaintance, Safina. While raiding a Harper stronghold, Edgen attempted to steal a tablet of reawakening to resurrect his wife, but he and Holga are captured while their accomplices escape. After two years in Revel's End Arctic prison, the pair escape to Neverwinter and learn Forge has become lord there, after its prior lord fell mysteriously incapacitated. Forge has been taking care of Kira, convincing her that Edgen's selfish greed led to his arrest. Safina is revealed as a red wizard, and she and Forge deliberately orchestrated their capture. Safina attempts to execute Edgen and Holga, but they escape and decide to rob Forge's vault and bring Kira home during the upcoming High Sun Games, needing the tablet to prove their innocence to Kira and resurrect Edgen's wife. The gladiatorial games had previously been banned, but Forge re-instituted them, promising that the games would bring in tourists and money. Edgen and Holga track down Simon to help and he suggests also recruiting Doric, a tiefling druid, whose forest community is fighting forced logging ordered by Forge. Shapeshifted into a fly, Doric infiltrates Forge's castle, finding the vault has magical defenses from Mordenkainen, which Simon lacks power to disable. Simon proposes that a magic relic, the Helm of Disjunction, could disable them. They travel to an old graveyard to ask Holga's ancestors where to find it. Simon resurrects the dead with a talisman long enough for them to answer five questions each. The corpses reveal they gave the helm to Zenk Yandar, a paladin who fled his country, Thay, when red wizards turned his people into an undead army. One corpse is left. Alive, not having been asked all five questions.